Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Starting Line. I'm your host, Sarah Allen. The Minnesota Legislature is responsible for passing legislation and appropriating funds or authorizing the spending of a designated amount of public money for a specific purpose. This week, House members heard many bills that look to appropriate funds, including those in the Health and Human Services Finance Committee. It is our um, hope or desire that, you, that this appropriation could be used either to fund program growth or add an, as an alternative uh, be used to fund those alternatives that would be built in the community. This week's starting line looks at House File 1405, a bill that appropriates money for problem gambling assistance by designating money from the Lottery Prize Fund to the North Star Problem Gambling Alliance. We sit down with the bill's sponsor, Representative Mary Swatsky, to learn more details about the bill. Swatsky, a special education teacher from Wilmer, is serving her first term in the Minnesota House of Representatives. She represents District 17B. Thank you, Representative Swatsky, for sitting down and talking to us about your bill, House File 1405. And to begin, can you explain what your bill would do? This bill helps um, problem gamblers um, and uh, provides outreach and education for families and, um, and the actual gambler with the, with the addiction. Um, and so um, continues the good work that they have done, um, that the Minnesota North Star Problem Gambling Alliance has done for several years and uh, just continues with that funding um, for helping those that, um, that need the support. Why are you sponsoring this bill? I do live in Wilmer, and that's uh, part of uh, my district. But I'm originally from Granite Falls, and Granite Falls uh, is just 40 miles south of Wilmer on Highway 23. And they, um, we ha have Project Turnabout, which is um, a um, alcohol and drug rehab facility. But uh, in, most recently, they have also added the gambling addiction um, rehabilitation there as well. And um, quite interesting, we just went down uh, in February, I believe, uh, this uh, majority leader, uh, Aaron Murphy and um, Lyle Coonan, our senator, and myself went and did tour. One thing that I did learn uh, being uh, going through the tour of Turnabout is um, people are very um, sad that they've put their family through um, taking a lot of times all of their money has been spent and um, and investments and it's it's um, tough for families to admit this and realize that they have um, done you know a lot of damage to their their family and and um, you know, it's not something that we can easily see, that you can walk into a building and know that somebody has an addiction, as, as you might with um, other kind of addictions. But um, it's, it's very real, and, and it um, hits the core of families. What are you hoping this appropriation will do for those families affected by problem gambling? Well, with their outreach of education, um, there is a 24-hour hotline that um, People can call in and ask for support and help, and, and I would assume that's for the gambler themselves or for um, families or loved ones that are being affected by it. And, um, and then, of course, the education about gambling and be the awareness that it, it, uh, it is a very real and, and an addiction, and, um, and um, just it, the training for people um, in understanding and under um, getting help and guidance. Thank you, Representative Swatsky, for sitting down and talking to us about your bill, House File 1405. Let's check out House File 1405 to see where it's been in the legislative process and where it's likely to go. It's had its introduction and first reading it was referred to the Commerce and Consumer Protection Finance and Policy Committee where it received a hearing and has been laid over for possible inclusion in a Commerce and Consumer Protection Finance and Policy Omnibus Bill.
You can learn more about this bill and other bills through our online news service, Session Daily. This nonpartisan news source employs a staff of professional writers, editors, and photographers that provide you with in-depth coverage of the Minnesota House of Representatives. You can also watch live coverage of committee and floor action on House TV. To see past bills featured on Starting Line, go to www.youtube.com backslash MN House Info and click on the Starting Line playlist. Coming up next week, Starting Line will feature a different bill and look to see if there's been any movement on Representative Swatsky's bill or other bills we have highlighted. And remember, thousands of bills get introduced every legislative session in Minnesota. All of them first have to cross the starting line.